three reasons why your house plants might be a little bit sad. Those three reasons include not proper watering, not the proper sunlight, and also not the proper fertilization. Here I have some examples of underwatering on this side and overwatering on this side. It's actually pretty simple. Here's the main thing about underwatering. Often you'll see yellow leaves like this. You'll see some curling of the leaves like we see on the stiff and bakia. You will see leaf loss like we see on this fern. You can see brown tips like we see on this fern. But here is the main thing, guys. This is actually really simple. If the soil feels really dry to the touch, then you know that you're underwatering. And really one way to tell for sure is take a screwdriver and actually put that screwdriver into the soil all the way down. If it pokes through pretty easily, guys, it's kind of like the Sahara in there and that plant needs some more water. Here's what gets a little tricky about underwatering and overwatering. They can actually look very similar. They can both have browning, curling leaves. They can both have leaf loss. They can both have stunted growth. But one of the main differences is, and this is what's very obvious, is that the soil on an overwatered plant feels really soggy to the touch. It just feels wet. The other thing with an overwatered plant is that often these bottom leaves, like on this peace lily, start to turn yellow and they feel kind of mushy a little bit. And this one does actually feel that way. Even though peace lilies love a little water, we gave it a little too much love. So that's one thing that we tend to do. It's great that we want to take such good care of our houseplants, but sometimes we over love them by giving them too much water. So one of the main things, now this is not true for exactly every single houseplant, but a good general rule of thumb is that let the top inch of the soil dry out a little bit before you water your houseplants. Then when you water them, make sure that you water them all the way through. You want to see that water come out the bottom but also make sure that they don't sit in standing water. So those are one of the things to help make our houseplants happier is give them enough water, don't give them too much water. I have a few other unhappy camper houseplants with me. This time it's all about the light. You know how we talk about low light plants, medium light plants, and high light plants. Well, that is very important. Inside your home, you need to pick the right plant for the right place, especially the right lighting. Here, I keep bringing this poor Diffenbachia, it's gonna feel self-conscious, but this is a plant that also got too little light. I know it's a lower light plant, but this was too little light. This was under three hours of sunlight and it just couldn't handle it. Some signs of too little light are this. One, sometimes a plant can get really leggy and stretch as if it's stretching for the light. Two, sometimes the plants tilt, so they might be tilting towards a window, growing towards the light. Three, the other thing is that they're often stunted and the new growth that comes up will have much smaller leaves than the original growth. The other thing that we see is that they just get thin and they just don't look too happy. This is a perfect sign of too little light for a plant. Then we move on to too much light and this can kind of manifest itself in a lot of different ways. For instance, here's an orchid and I know we think of orchids as having loving bright light and they do for the most part but direct light pouring down on them can actually burn them. If you look at this leaf, it actually has a burn hole right on it. That is from too much sunlight on an orchid plant. Now this has got a whole different look. This is a lemon button fern and see, it's just bleached. This is actually one that's healthy that was getting the proper light and look how much darker green it is. It's just much happier in proper light. Then we come to the fiddle leaf fig. I love the fiddle leaf fig and it actually is a fairly easy plant to care for. But look at this, we have crispy brown edges on this fiddle leaf fig. And one of the main reasons is, is this was not getting the proper light. So I know that a fiddle leaf fig loves a brightly lit room with indirect light. But what happened in this situation is that the shades were actually closed for a while. This fiddle leaf fig acclimated to less sunlight and then the shades got opened up and then all the sunlight came pouring in and it actually burnt the leaves. So that really can happen. Plants need to get acclimated to sunlight properly. You can't just thrust them into it suddenly. So these are some perfect examples of too little light and too much light. Okay, let's talk house plants and fertilizer. Let's talk about why fertilizer can make a house plant so happy. 
here I am standing with this Bella Palm and yes, it is full and it still is pretty, but look how yellowish it is. When you look at this Bella Palm, you can really see the difference. There's quite a contrast. This is a Bella Palm that has not received enough fertilizer and this is one that has received enough fertilizer. Here's a great rule of thumb for fertilizing. In general, your house plants really need to be fertilized at least one time per month, basically from spring to fall. So pretty much April through September. Typically, we give our plants a little bit of a breather and a little bit of break during the cold winter months, maybe little to no fertilizer. However, there are some exceptions. If you have a bird's nest fern that looks like this, so yellowish, it's not supposed to look like this, guys. It should be a much deeper green. This plant needs fertilizer, whether it's the spring or the fall or the winter. It needs some fertilizer. Also, look at this lemon button fern. This poor guy bringing him back again too, but he's very chlorotic, it's called. Many of the nutrients have been leached out of this plant, and it may be because you've had the plant for a long time. It could be that it's a little bit root bound. It could be that you haven't fertilized it since you got it 10 years ago. And also it could be that maybe just getting a little bit too much water and it's leaching all the nutrients out of that pot. So it's really important that we fertilize our plants just like we like to eat, they love to eat too. Very simple, I use a slow release fertilizer. This works great for me. I just sprinkle it on the soil and it's really easy to use. But there are different types of fertilizers you can use. Just remember, they are hungry too. If they're looking kind of yellowish, kind of pale, give them a little bit of fertilizer. It'll make them so much happier. Thanks a bunch, see you next time.